Hello YouTube. Um, it's oh god, it's another bucket video. I thought I was done with these, uh, but a lot of you have been asking questions and clarification. And plus, there's the simple fact that I didn't actually show you how to do it last time. I tried to, but it all failed. Couldn't really test it properly. But that's all aside. I've been playing around today, and I've cracked it. I've got it all sorted. I know exactly how it's done. Honest to God. So. Let's show you, shall we? We'll start off, we've got a uh, bucket installation here. Uh, first thing we want to do is make sure we've got all the up-to-date plugins and I've just hit the table, <laughs> the up-to-date version of bucket. So we're actually going to pretty much uh, clean the decks here. We're going to delete everything. Um, why? Because, you know, I like the nuclear solution on occasion. Um, so we're going to leave the world itself, obviously, and we're going to leave the little batch file that we that we got before when we installed it. I don't know if you remember that. I don't remember that to be honest. But everything else we're going to get rid of. Um, right, and then we need the new version of Bucket and the new essentials. Um, now you can get Bucket uh, from the Bucket page, going through the uh, recommended builds here, which you know thirteen thirty seven. Uh, that's very elite. Um, and you can get essentials from this page here, Dev Bucket, Server Mods Essentials, and you want the main download and the group manager for this. So you got that, because I'm closing this window now. Uh, and here's one we made earlier. Here's what we need. Uh, I've once again actually forgotten. I swear I had that saved. I must have, uh, bear me a second. Right, sorry about that. Um, I accidentally moved the file rather than copied it before when I was testing this. Uh, so it wasn't there anymore. But yes, here it is, stuff for the video. Um, so all we've got left now is the batch file of the plugins world. So let's copy across the actual bucket client itself. I'm going to copy rather than move. Uh, and then we've got the two essentials here. So let's open them up, go into the plugins folder. And let's bring through these, just the essentials. So they're done. And the group manager, uh, bring those across as well. So there we go. That's all the plugins we need. So now we're just going to run a uh, bucket, open it up, let it run once and load all the plugins and so on. And there it's done. So we'll stop the server and close this. And if we see, we can see all the normal stuff's come up. Uh, and if we're going to plugins, we've now got the group manager and essentials folders. Now, before um, I put myself in the ops.tech, uh, ops.txt text file which I would recommend you do but for the purposes of this video I'm not going to and that's because if you're in ops.txt it basically book it uh, the the essentials just gives you all the permission yeah all the permissions for everything uh, and I don't actually want that because obviously I want to demonstrate to you that you can change things so uh, yeah I'm going to leave that be um, now what we want is to go into the group manager folder actually wait let me open this in a new window because that way I can come back here when I need to okay because that way I can just run the folder without having to go back and forth so we've got the folder here group manager uh, three bits in here two folders and config.yml now with config.yml it's useful if you're running a few different worlds uh, because what you can do is set what worlds have what permissions so what this is saying is that whatever permissions you set up for the world called world uh, will also apply to the world nether and any levels you've got called world 2 world 3 and so on. Uh, it also sets how often uh, it saves groups that have been set during the game and so on. Uh, not really going to play around with any of this. You don't really need to know unless you're running multiple worlds at once. Um, so yeah, so in the worlds folder and then the name of world, world, we have two files and this is where, this is the important bit. Groups.yml and user.yml. It wasn't that permissions bit elsewhere I was messing about with before, that was completely irrelevant. So if we're going to, uh, I'll go into groups.yml first. Um, generally you'll be playing around with this second, but it'll make sense in a minute. What this does is define what groups we have, what they're called and what they can do. Uh, and it's basically in groups like this. So this group here that I've highlighted is called default. Uh, and basically as this, the next line here that says default true, says that the group default is the default. Uh, if any player comes on the server and they're not recognized, this is what they'll be given. And all they can do is use help, help op, list MOTD rules and spawn and whatever that is. Uh, they don't inherit permissions from anyone else. And build is false, which I don't think actually stops them from building. Uh, it, it's just for other plugins. It kind of tells them what's going on. Uh, and if we go down, we can see there's other permissions. Uh, owner, 
uh, which has the permission star, which means it can do anything, and on top of that inherits any permissions to admin, which is a bit irrelevant, but there you go. Um, builder, um, which uh, is the main one, I think, for most players. Uh, so you want most players to be builders, and this gives them a few different bits and bobs, as you can see, quite a long list. Uh, moderators, they can ban people, kick, uh, get positions, mute players, and so on. Uh, we've got admins, which are basically super moderators. They can also do some group management stuff. Uh, and they've got all the essentials plugins except for these, but I'll come back to that. Uh, and that's pretty much the groups. Uh, so you can see how it works. So obviously, this is just how it's set up as default. And you can mess about with this as you want. And I'll show you a bit on that in a minute. Um, but the other file is users.yml. And this shows what players are recognized and what groups are part of. So by default, I presume these are de the developers of the Essentials group, uh, Essentials plugin. Uh, we've got Snowdio, who's an admin, Elgar L, who's an admin, and Mudzarelli, who's just a builder. Oh, poor Mudzarelli. Um, so what I'm going to do is add myself in here. So let's copy and paste, make this group AA Wood. Now, if you are adding yourself on here and you're running server, you're probably going to be want a part of the group owner so that you can do everything as such. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I'm actually going to make myself a builder. So then I can sort of show what I can do and what I can't as a builder. So I'll save that. Yes, I'll say, sure I won't save. If you go back to groups.yml, uh, we can see what this does is it gives me the, uh, all, lets me do all the things that are set in the builder's group. So I can set AFK, I can check my balance, uh, I can check depth, and that's what I'm gonna be testing with. Um, but I shouldn't be able to do anything not on that list or the default list, which is what which uh, we inherit the permissions of. Um, I shouldn't be able to do anything else. So for example here, moderators uh, can set thunder. Um, I'm not a moderator, so I can't do that. So let's see if that all works according to plan, shall we? If we start uh, book it. So here we are and it's running. Oh, there we go. So if I now join the server, and you can see this is the server up there. So I'm in the server now. Uh, now, oh, it's running a bit slow because I'm recording, as I always say, and you'll probably notice there's a mouse cursor on it, a little black square where the mouse cursor should be. But if I try and do depth command, it will say, oh, hold on, sorry, my bad. Oh, no, can't type for toffee. Let's try that one more time. Okay, I'm six blocks above sea level, so that's working. If we go a bit lower down, just a couple of steps, do it again. Hold the depth. Oop. And I'm four blocks. So that, that works. I can use that command. So now let's try one of the moderator commands, which was thunder. So if I try and do that, you do not have access to that command. I'm not allowed. Naughty, naughty Adrian. So let's quit out of here. Okay. And stop the server. And that stopped. Right. So now, this time, let's say that I am the owner, which is how it should be. Let's be honest. Uh, it, it, you'll notice that... Um, the group manager does mess about with the files when it's uh, loaded. It, so, for example, uh, example for it here, uh, it's resorted it to put me at the top for whatever reason. So we'll change it so that I'm the owner. Save that. That's also why you can't edit, why you don't want to edit the file while it's open because it will just erase your changes and it will mess about things. It's a little bit crazy. So now I'm the owner. I can do anything, um, and that should, of course, include stuff that the moderator can do, like thunder. So let's give that a try, shall we? So let's... Oh, wait, would help if I started the server again, wouldn't it? Ha-ha! Right, refuse to connect, of course you did. Um, and there we go, it's running, so let's join. Okay, so now I'm back. Um, and now, if I try Thunder... It's like, yes, do you want to enable Thunder for how long? For the record, I have no idea what this does. I did test it before, and it was like, oh, yes, it's enabled for five seconds. So, well, uh, thanks. Thanks for that. Um, but, yeah, so so you can see you can change people to different groups, and they'll have different permissions, and it all works quite nice. Uh, so let's stop this one more time. So just wait for that to save. Yep. Now, what I was saying before... Uh, obviously, uh, to add, uh, let's, let's open it, um, 
the format is the same uh, for every group. And like I said, these defaults, there's nothing stopping you from making your own groups. Um, so in fact, you know, let's let's do that. So we've got owner here. So let's actually let's start with uh, the default. So we'll copy this, and we're going to make a new group, and we'll call it I I don't know Thunderers. Okay, so new group uh, default is still up there. Uh, with this new group, obviously we don't want it to be the default group. So we'll make that false. So new players are not going to be funders, they're going to be default right at the top. Uh, they have exactly the same permissions as default ones at the moment, but let's let's give them a little bit more. So let's say that we want them to be able to create thunder. Uh, even though I have no idea what it does. So now if we set this, but just to test something else as well, we're going to set it so that they can't use the spawn command. Okay, and what basically all I've done is put a little minus at the start of the command, and what that says is this group can't do this. Even if otherwise they could, uh, that you know, even if they've inherited permissions from some other group that says they can do it, they can't. Uh, and that's why here with the admin one, you've got these lines here, and what that says is this line says they can use all essential stuff, and these five lines say except for those ones. <laughs> So there you go. So let's save that. So I've made our new group called Thunderers. Let's copy that because I'm going to need that. And now let's change my group to Thunderers. Okay. Save this. Oh, that's saved apparently. So now if we start this, let's just remind myself actually, let's keep it on screen so I can remember what I can do and what I can't do. I have forgotten, I'll be honest. Um, so I should be able to call funder but not use the spawn command. So if I go in and use the thunder command, then it's like, yes, would you like it true or false, blah, blah, blah. And if I try and use the spawn command, then, oh, I've done it wrong again, spawn. Then no, no, I don't have access. But. And one final test. So stop the server. Um, on the other hand, if I delete myself from here altogether, right? So I'm gone from that. It doesn't know who I am anymore. It should put me in the default group because that's because default set to true for that. And as such, I should now get the spawn command, but not the thunder command. So that's. Well, actually, I've just edited that while it was running. Let's see if it's... Yeah, I've still gone from there, so that's fine. So, one last time, start the server. I should be able to spawn, but not do thunder. Even though it has no idea who I am. So... Come on, there we go. It's running now. So, let's load. And I can use spawn to get that spawn. But I can't use the thunder command. Um, so there you go. That is how to set up essentials with plug a bucket. I've actually done a successful bucket video. It's amazing. Um, so there you go. Uh, if, if you've got any more questions on, on this or anything else, damn it, guys, I love you, but please don't ask me. I don't have a clue about bucket. Everything I'm showing you, I'm kind of learning as I'm going along just for you because I, I don't use it at all. Um, I, 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 if you do want to ask, I'll help if I can, but I probably can't. There's, there's got to be people out there who, who understand this better than I do. Um, but anyway, I uh, hope this has been useful. Uh, thank you for your comments. Keep them coming. Uh, and next time, probably another Grand Theft Auto 4 video of some random uh, random kind. Random kind. That doesn't make sense anyway. Forget it. Bye.